Hello, my name is Wienke Giesman, CEO and co-founder of The Things Industries. And I'm going to tell you about IoT, LoRaWAN and logistics. And I'll give you a few examples of what our customers are doing with LoRaWAN and their logistical operations. So one example is Norsi. What they do is they do asset tracking around industrial sites and port environments, making sure they can track uh, um, uh, uh, assets, but uh, they also use it for small buildings and uh, condition monitoring there. Um, both the port of Rotterdam and the port of Amsterdam are using uh, the Things Industries LoRaWAN network uh, for many different use cases. For instance, in Amsterdam, um, we installed parking sensors that keep track of the parking lots for the trucks. And in the uh, port of Rotterdam, uh, asset tracking is, for instance, one of the use cases. Our customer Deutsche Bahn is using LoRaWAN and IoT in a, different, a lot of different applications. For instance, in this case, they uh, are going to use it to synchronize the clocks on the railway stations using LoRaWAN time synchronization features to do so. But they also use it in ICE facilities, uh, inventory management around uh, uh, maintenance uh, objects, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Williamson uh, Shipping um, uh, is using our systems to do condition monitoring on ships. So, for instance, ventilators that have a lot of moving parts, uh, they can measure the vibration, but they also use it to measure the sound of uh, diesel engines to uh, detect if there's any anomalies and if they need uh, maintenance and to make sure that the maintenance is planned before that systems break. Uh, together with Wilson, we created a, a little video on uh, uh, IoT uh, and what it means for uh, the logistics around the seas. At any given moment, 78,000 merchant vessels are operational around the world shipping cargo. Even the smallest efficiency gains in routes, maintenance planning and goods management can have a massive impact. Reducing CO2, operational costs, and delivery times. Data is critical in finding these inefficiencies. Whether it's data about the condition of onboard equipment, crew safety, in-transit vehicles, or locations of onshore assets. To gather relevant data, we need to fit sensors to assets, which send their readings to centralized or distributed control systems to make informed decisions. These can be thousands of sensors per ship or per port. In most cases, wiring these sensors is not an option because they're moving or because it's simply too expensive. In these cases, wireless is the way to go. Until now, wireless data collection in maritime supply chains has been a challenge as these harsh environments are not friendly to many radio frequency technologies. We solve this by using the latest radio frequency technologies. Wilhelmsen brings all of this together with its IoT for the Seas platform, the new maritime standard for sensors, connectivity, and data handling that can meet the demands of its industry. The standards of this platform are open and the technology is proven. So suppliers can easily develop sensors and solutions that are relevant to the maritime industry and its customers. Join the IoT for the Seas now. So uh, uh, and next up is uh, uh, John Helge. Uh, Ulstein from Wilmsen, and he's going to give uh, a little more uh, explanation on what they're doing with IoT. Thanks, Vinke and Johan, for having me here. As you may know, Wilhelmsen is one of the largest providers of maritime services in the world. In the last year, we have increased our digital activities, including drones, 3D printing, autonomous ships, among others. We have worked closely with Semtech and the Things Industry to embed LoRaWAN into our business and have successfully tested and deployed pilots on board ships, in ports and on mainland. 
The wireless LoRaWAN replaces expensive wiring, allowing us to extend our service and application using low-cost, battery-operated devices. LoRaWAN is performing exceptionally well in exposing data from hard-to-get places. The recent addition of 2.4 makes it suitable to deploy in our global operation. In the past year we have experience with asset tracking, condition monitoring and numbers of other use cases. The result has been so overwhelming that we have decided to launch our new service platform, IoT of the Seas. Together with device makers and application developers, such as the audience here today, we offer our customer access to the digital, global LoRaWAN ecosystem. Make sure to check into the talk marked Maritime to see how we do it. Thank you. Great. So if you want to know more, there's the link in the description. Uh, which uh, uh, leads you to uh, several uh, talks uh, uh, from John. Um, so, uh, as I've showed, there's, there's a lot of different use cases in logistics around IoT and LoRaWAN. Uh, if you want to know more, uh, reach out to us at thethingsindustries.com. Uh, and I want to thank you very much for your attention. Mm -hmm.